So here's a rolling pin and you can roll out a slab of clay uh, using the rolling pin um, or the slab roller. And over here I have uh, a CD. The next thing I'm going to do is roll out a large coil. For some reason, uh, when I roll out coils, I find more success having my hands roll it at a diagonal rather than straight up and down, perpendicular to the coil. Right? One of the things that you want to try to do when you're making your coils is you want to make your coils about a half inch thick. Um, um, you want to start off thick because in the process of smoothing out the coils, you remove clay and the coils will be thinner than when you started. So if you start out, out at half an inch thick, by the time you're done smoothing it out, um, your coils will be three to an inch thick, which is about the thickness that you want. It's thin enough that it, you shouldn't have any issues with it blowing up in the kiln, uh, but it's strong enough that it could handle some shaping. Um, and here's a ruler, and you can see that this coil is a half inch thick, which still happens to be the same thickness of this chunky wood handled needle tool. So if you can make your coils about just a little bit thicker than the needle tool, you're, you're good to go. I'm going to cut this point into a long point like this. Trying to make a form that gets wider, you put the coils on the outside edge of the coil underneath it. And so the, the form gradually expands. And goes wider. Now, if you want the form of your vessel in the bottle, where you go from like wide to narrow, right? You put the coils on the inside edge of the coil below it until you close off 